What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll talk about Terrifier 3. We'll talk about Robert Bertino's upcoming or Brian Bertino I meant to say upcoming film named Vicious or titled Vicious. We'll talk about the Chucky show and the future of the franchise. We'll talk about Final Destination and Saw 11. Now starting off here with Terrifier 3. We got this cool new image of Art the Clown in Terrifier 3. The film is coming out in a few days at this point. Damien Leone has already made it clear Terrifier 4 is happening, but I again will stress that those who don't want spoilers should stop engaging with their Terrifier spaces. Leone has also come out to acknowledge interviews are coming out with a lot of potential spoilers. So create that space, that safe space, because no one is going to feel sorry for someone who wants to be willfully ignorant about it and instead expect the internet to just conform to all of your desires. That's just not how the internet works. Let me know down below from a scale of 1 to 10 how controversial do you think this film will be. Damien Leone was also recently doubling down on his intentions to know when to call it quits with the franchise when he was giving this statement to Games Radar. He said, my biggest fear is going on too long and wearing out my welcome because that does happen to all of my favorites. A lot of people would say that's happening right now with Chucky. Almost always it happens to the slasher franchises where they make 10 of them. I want to have a solid franchise where it be a trilogy or maybe a quadrilogy. If I have one more in mind where it starts, where it ends, and you can always or you can walk away with a satisfying conclusion and closure and say that was pretty cool. I know what that is. So that would be the goal. Again, I have nothing but respect for someone like this as a filmmaker. I hope and pray that Terrified 4 is the last one. Now, Damien Leone, if he walks away from the IP, that would be respectful, too. If they want to continue on and he doesn't want to do it anymore. He'll still have all my respect if he walks away from it. And if there's somehow some type of thing that happens where he's talked into doing five, six and seven, I get it. It's still a business. <laughs> he's still clearly passionate about Art the Clown, but I can always respect someone who has a clear vision. And hopefully his quadrilogy can go down as one of the best quadrilogies we've had in recent memory for the horror franchise. Now we're going to talk about Vicious. So Vicious is a film coming from Brian Bertino. It's actually not even supposed to drop until next August from Paramount. But I want to preface this by saying these are all just rumored plot details. Now, a few of you might know that Brian Bertino directed The Strangers and The Dark and the Wicked. This film is starring Dakota Fanning, Devin Dakota, Rachel Blanchard and others. I just want to go over some rumored plot details that haven't been reported and set the table for what you can expect if you're a fan of this director. Paramount, like I mentioned, is releasing the film next August. And all we know right now is that the film will follow a young woman who, after being left with a strange present from a late night visitor, must spend the night fighting for her existence as she slips down a disturbing rabbit hole contained inside the gift. Now, who is this young woman and what's the gift? Well, Dakota Fanning, who stars as the lead, is named Polly, supposedly. Then you have Devin Dakota, who we know from Scream 6. Also, you might recognize him from Degrassi. She stars as Tara, how ironic. Then you have Rachel Blanchard, who stars as Polly's sister. Catherine Hunter, who stars as the old lady who visits Polly at night, giving her this box. Mary McCormack, who stars as Polly's mom. The film takes place in one night. And from what I've heard, it is very similar to Smile. This could be Paramount's next attempt to start a Smile franchise again. Now, Polly is forced to play a game where she must give three items to this box. So this box is some sort of device that is shrouded in mystery. And from what I've heard, the box isn't ever fully explained, which I do like because it's preserving the mystique. And again, it sounds like they're just going out of their way to purposely set up and leave the door open to future installments if this is a success. So I hope that Vicious is something that a lot of you enjoy when it drops and hopefully we'll get confirmations on this sooner rather than later. The sources of this information are quite reliable, but I won't go into any other further details besides that. Oh, actually, I will tease this. I have heard that there is stuff in this film that is similar to the most the closest thing I will describe it to is the ending of Saul with Dr. Gordon cutting off his foot. <laughs> just to give you an image of what you can expect now let's talk about chucky a little bit further variety's report mentioned this about the chucky cancellation it said according to sources there have been discussions of bringing the show back for an abbreviated final season or even a wrap-up film but ultimately to no avail now keep in mind don announced a new film was in development back in march or so of this year I'm curious if that film was supposed to be this wrap-up story to the show, and now Universal just wants Don to do something completely different, but still keeping the show canon, or they just want to go in a completely different direction, and of course, they'll go to Don first, because like I said, he must have some sort of writer first refusal. They'll go to Don, tell them what they want, and expect Don to deliver through with it. 
Time will tell, but shout out to you, Gannon, because you were at Nightmare Weekend and got to chat with Devin Sawa, who, according to Gannon, claims Sawa shared that the IP is pivoting back to films with a 2025 release being out for the next movie. Now, that's like the second time we've heard about 2025. This time, of course, being from someone directly involved with the recent series. So 2025 seems like the year we should keep an eye on when it comes to all things Chucky. Obviously, this makes the most sense when considering Mancini himself has been spreading the words he'll be back in response to the cancellation like wildfire. So knowing that Chucky will be back sooner rather than later, all eyes do point to 2025. And apparently Devin Sawa let it be known to someone in attendance at this festival nightmare weekend or convention i guess i should say that we can expect a new chucky film in 2025 so we'll see what comes of that now let's talk about final destination bloodlines is final destination bloodlines going through reshoots caitlin santuana who is starring as the lead in the film posted this on her instagram a few days ago i haven't seen too many people talking about this but this is the very location where they shot some scenes for bloodlines now, you could argue maybe this is from some time in the past from her camera roll, but I th I think it is recent. <laughs> so if it is going through reshoots, the only thing I could see them reshooting would be the end of the film. Just going off of the fact that I have heard that the ending of the film takes place in this neighborhood. It could be some earlier scenes in the film, obviously, that take place in this neighborhood, too. But from what I was hearing, the ending, while I didn't hear a lot of complaints about the ending... The ending itself, I could say, could be better. It could be better. It could be a little bit more conclusive and not so set up a sequel type of thing. Because that's how the movie kind of ends. It ends like it's purpose purposely just trying to say the franchise is back and we're not going anywhere. And I'd rather it be more conclusive. <laughs> I think that would be the best thing to do here. Just because it's been away for so long. Why end it on such a confident note that you're going to be back if the movie flops at the box office? The film I trust will be a success. But maybe they're going to play it safe and give us a different ending that isn't so sure of itself that it's going to lead to another installment. Because that's how it currently is. That's the best way I can describe it. So, last thing we're going to talk about here is going to be Saw X. Now, an important update on, or Saw 11, I should say. An important update on Saw 11 from Viewer Non. He tweets out, I'm told the current holdup is not because of creative script or director issues. The delay is due to disagreements between Mark Berg and Oren Coles. They own the rights. Nothing goes forward without both agreeing. Two sources stress this is not a Saw 3D situation. Kevin Gruder is involved in that people are happy with the direction of the story. While it does give me some peace of mind, again, I will stress, if they cannot work it out, Saw X is a wonderful high note to take the series out on. Work it out amongst yourselves. If you don't, at least we got Saw X. But it's nice to know that they at least have some sort of confidence in what direction Kevin Gruder wants to go with the story. Uh, we also know, of course, we've been hearing that prison is rumored to be factored into this. We'll see if that ends up being true. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.